need to go back. I think it's over here. Yeah, you definitely hear it. Oh, it's right here. On the inside? No, it's on the tray. Oh, okay. Inside would be hard to get to. I think it's on the crib. ago when I was here last none of this grass was here none of it look at this man I don't know what kind I think it's wheat Ted says it's weeds it's all about the same height there's a lot of it it's probably not wheat but look at that So uh, we just picked up a zero turn for the property and uh, next time we come we're going to pick the trailer up and we're going to cut some grass. tried out the zero turn already back at home where I have uh, three acres so we've cut the grass there three times we got this a few weeks ago and uh, did some tuning some maintenance it was definitely a commercial mower and uh, needed a little love which uh, Ted and I willingly gave her and uh, for a good price and a few dollars Seems to be in really good running shape. So we're pretty stoked. Ted is going to jump on the lower 40. The lower 40? Look at that man. He looks ready for some grass. He's going to be in a t-shirt by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's probably about 55 degrees now. 60 maybe. It's supposed to be 88 today. Which means 90. Which means 90. You look the part, dude. All you need is your, uh, your iced tea cup with you money boom he gonna cut some grass folks let me get a water there you go i'm gonna jump on the brush hog and we're gonna tackle this from uh, both ends i'm gonna get up around the pig barn way up yonder where you can see behind the trees it is about i don't know 18 inches tall but very thick so I'm gonna get up there and brush hog that and work my way down to Ted. But look how quick all this is coming in. It's wild. I think the combination of a mild winter and just normal spring, but uh, stuff grows in quick here. Cool, let's get to it. We're gonna get the brush hog here, hooked up to the John Deere. We're gonna start up there by the pig barn. And uh, first we're gonna do a little uh, maintenance, do some lube, picked up this cool Milwaukee grease gun. So we're gonna uh, grease the brush hog deck and uh, also the mower while we're doing it and uh, 
start to cutting. So here, uh, I'll show you guys while we uh, grease these joints. Check out this Milwaukee grease gun, it's awesome. No more hand pumping, love it. But you guys know I love my Milwaukee tools. When we uh, had our guy come out and do the, uh, the tree work with the drum mulcher and the skid loader, he had one of these guys and uh, he would maintain his equipment, which is very important when you're using a machine like that all day. But he was just uh, pressing a button, no more pumping and pushing the thing. And so I picked up one of these, already goes with my M18 batteries that I have for all my other tools. So you're always just buying the tool and not the battery or full charge. I did read that you have to be careful that you don't overfill your uh, your bushings <clears throat> that have uh, the gaskets on them because you can blow those gaskets because you just squeeze this button and it fills up. So I'm waiting for it to just come out. There it is. And you can see it oozing out. around your your pin so you're really just lubricating the pivot points the pin locations and you can see it ooze out but when you get into the, the tie rods that have a and this one's already blown out probably from hitting a stick because you run over so much stuff but these have seals on them gaskets that way they hold the grease in there better can easily blow those apart because that thing pushes the grease out so well but super cool tool cool Always good to get on your machine when you know that you've just maintained it full of fuel. Just because uh, you work the heck out of these things. Sometimes you feel like you're dogging them out and they're going to break, but they're meant to work hard. These things are built to work hard. They're heavy duty. And then you maintain it. It's almost like just having a, when you wash your car, it just feels tight, new. It's no different than when it was dirty. It just feels different. So, let you uh, I'll let you watch some brush hogging. We'll see. If it's too loud for uh, for the audio. We'll kick some music in here and uh, show you a little work. Right now we can drive together up to the pig barn and see how much things have uh, grown up in the past few weeks. <laughs> I've been greasing and lubing and oh, okay. did all that stuff. This is going to be awesome, but I got to go so slow because you can't see shit in there. Well, the we didn't do this now. This mower, it's not that, it, I mean, this mower doesn't even bog down in it, but we wouldn't be able to see enough to really go through. I'd be scared. I mean, the reality is we know. It's funny. It's kind of like in the dark. You get spooked. There's something there, but we know. No, the only thing I'm worried is, about being in there is a, a big log or a piece of wood. That's it. I'm not worried about like metal or anything. Yeah, there's none of that. And little sticks, I'm just going over that shit. It, dude, it cuts the heck out of little sticks. Yeah, I'm not worried Ask about me that. How I, know. I know we're going to have to do blades and stuff. Yep. Yeah. So it's going to look good. See what it looks like right there? Yeah. Oh, I know. It's going to look sweet, dude, when it's cut. It's going to look sweet as shit. 
how sweet is shit? Just curious. Well, the bear shit with I'm, some I'm, berries in it, it's pretty sweet. You've been thinking about it. Yep. Yep. It's all relative. How hungry are you? How hungry are you? And if you're naked and afraid, and you're starving 21 days in, and you see a big pile of bear scat right. with some berries in there, that's going to look good. Now, if you're sleeping on, you know, 1,500-pound Egyptian cotton sheets every night, shit ain't too sweet, probably. That would be repulsive. It's all relative. Life is lived in the gray area. All right, I'll be down when right. I'm done. And then I guess I'll start... Just stay away from the high stuff. Anything you think is funky, stay away. Yeah, okay, and, and I'll work in the edges. You can hit it, and then I'll be able to see what's there. Yep, exactly. And do the fine cut. All right, brother. Yeah, because it's going to take a little while to get through this stuff. We got all day. <laughs> I know. Today's grass day. I got day. my tunes. Yep. I'm good. All right. <laughs> If you guys have been listening to uh, music or you can hear me talk and I can adjust the volume of the tractor I'm thinking you've been listening to some tunes so that's brush hogging in forward and a lot like cutting the grass except for that is just a high power deal underneath of there and uh, has one big disc and then it has two blades on each side so that disc spins and then those blades on the end are loose. Am I saying that right? I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. And that disc is what they call a stump jumper. So if you come into something tall in the grass, it bounces the deck up and doesn't ruin your blades. And uh, 
<clears throat> ruin your machinery. So the one way we do it is uh, forward, which you can only get so close. Obviously back there in the trees, it's a pain in the butt. You've got eight to 10 foot of uh, mower deck behind you. You got eight to 10 foot of uh, tractor in front of you and you're trying to maneuver around trees in a tight area, not ideal. This out in the open, I think this is what this thing's made for. I don't have the most experience with a brush hog, but it uh, seems to be working pretty well. Another way we do it is uh, you can back in and that enables you to get under these trees and stuff so you don't have to get your face in all this and you can kind of groom in a little bit. So check this out. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much vibration you guys are gonna see. The camera does a great job at uh, taking out the vibration. So, I want you guys to see this from the back. listening to music or me talk and I'm able to uh, tone down the tractor a little bit so that was brush hog in 101 uh, I'm kind of learning this I've done some uh, we did it when it was real tall and it was you know you had to be selective and careful there's a lot of stuff buried in the grass this is the first time we've done it uh, since we've cleaned and you're able to pretty much just just go and not worry about hitting stuff in the grass, although you're still kind of tentative because you can't see. But uh, as you can see, we didn't hit anything major, didn't uh, trash our, our machine or our equipment. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. This is not a finished mower. It's not intended to be a finished mower, but uh, and it's good for what we need and that's just to knock the grass down from getting too tall and uh keep the buildings exposed keeps the 
the growth from getting up too close to the buildings keeps them dry because the moisture doesn't sit in this short grass keeps the chiggers out so a whole bunch of pluses to maintaining your uh your farm and uh today we'll get a feel for actually how much work that is so i'm gonna work my way down to ted just kind of cutting the the trail and open it up so it actually could be walking or bicycling sounds like ted is uh up at the truck so maybe we'll go check on him see what's going on what'd you run over i didn't run over anything the blade just stopped turning it's just like shut off you know like if you push the button down yeah up and down won't come back on still no, I found out what the problem was. The, the connector that goes to the clutch. Yeah. It was just hanging there. Came on. Disconnected. All Luckily, right. it didn't get caught in the belt and rip that thing. It would have ripped that shit right off. But so, we're going to put a zip tie around it? Yeah, it has, it has a little, one of those things that it goes in. Yeah. But that thing was open. So, we're going to zip tie it. All right. And, uh. I, th I thought you ran over something. No. Starts to be work, don't it? Yeah. No, I'm glad that's what it was. I just plugged it back in and it seemed to click in. Yeah. Put a zip tie on it and it should be fine. That's uh, There's big ones. Dude, zip ties will save your butt in a pinch. No little ones. Thing we know a good mechanic. Who that? T bone and a zip tie. <laughs> Nothing we can't fix. Give me some duct tape. <laughs>